ladies and gentlemen. So today we've got my first snack on my off day here. Uh, usually I don't start the day with some coffee, but I'm kind of feeling a little bit of coffee. So in order to get it to be bulking friendly, we'll call it, we're going to add some Greek yogurt and some almond milk to this coffee. And of course, artificial sweetener, Truvia. We'll add a little bit of that just to pounce her up. So let's take a quick look, see what we got. So we're going to add... My guess is it's going to end up being close to under half a cup of almond milk. Give that a little shake and bake. All right, let's pour that in. So just under half a cup, 98 grams, or milliliters, sorry. Next, we're going to pop in that Greek yogurt life. All right, so we're going to have that Greek yogurt. Give it a little bit of creaminess to it. So we have 52 grams right there. And we'll add another scoop. Beauty, 65 grams. That's good enough for a cup of coffee, I'd say. Stir all that together. Now, Truvia, if any of you have ever used that before, it's kind of like Stevia, except they do use real sugar in it. Um, just not a whole lot. So here's the macros for stevia. Come on, focus. So for two grams, it's two grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, four calories. Really not that bad, but here's the thing. Two grams of the weigh scale doesn't end up becoming that accurate, as you guys will see, because I'll pour and nothing will happen. Notice how it went up to one from that huge amount. That's quite a bit. But could just be because my weight scale is kind of old and ghetto, but regardless, it gets the job done. And I'm not too worried for realistically, what, an extra gram or two? It's not too big of a deal. All right. So this is my first meal, we'll call it, of the day. It's actually 12 o'clock here. And I'm trying to see if I can fast and bulk at the same time. So far, it's working pretty good. But you'll hear more about that at my next meal. All right. Goodbye. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on my first meal. Essentially, what it's going to be is some sort of egg creation with oatmeal, Nutella, and honey. It's pretty good. I'll show you the macros for it once I finish. And let's get started. All right. So here's our ingredients, more or less. We've got an egg, some egg whites, some extra virgin olive oil, and some quick oats. So just to get everything started, we go ahead and add some olive oil so the eggs don't stick to the pan. Now, usually I wouldn't add this much olive oil, but again, because I'm bulking, we need to maintain higher fats. So this is about 11 grams of fat, 11 grams of olive oil. Next, we're going to add some egg whites. This stuff is really difficult to open with one hand. I should have pre-opened this stuff. Next video, I'll be more prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Now, egg whites. Pretty much just a serving. So, roughly 50. Eh, it's not enough. Let's go 75. Okay. So we doubled it. We went to 100. Oh, David. Some of these days, I like to live dangerously. But one of those days is today. Next, we got the whole egg. I'm going to put the camera down for a second because I'm not really good at breaking eggs with one hand. So we'll have the camera going like that. Oh, yeah, the donkey dog. Put that one egg up and loose. Oh, yeah. And a quick little cleaning. And that's it. Just like that, we're going to put this right on the pan skillet. On the oven. Wow. You'd think it's my first time cooking before. Got a little bit of a uh, onion in here, or so. Put her up like that. And with the oatmeal, it's going to be real simple. Pretty much, take some oats, cook them, and add them. Again, I'm just going to put this canvas down. So I'm going to add two servings of oats, quick oats. Just add water. So one serving is 40 grams, so we're going 80. Why are we going 80? Extra carbs. Just before I work out. All 
All right, add some water and pretty much just stick this up in the microwave. So you guys take a look at what I actually got here so you can see. And that's it. It's just straight open with two servings. And while that is cooking in the microwave, got the oats cooking down, or the eggs cooking down below. That's pretty much it for a real hard recipe to make. Essentially, what you're going to do is take the oats and flip them over. I didn't put enough water, so it's kind of sticking. Give me a second here. i got to put the camera over again. Hopefully, you guys can actually see this. Look at that. Did you see how much work I put into that? Getting that flip. Oh. Cook them oats. Get the boats. Oh, yeah. Next, we're going to go ahead and add literally just honey and half a serving of regular Nutella. Why? Get those carbs in. When you're having 450 grams of carbs a day, it's hard. It's hard to hit. Got roughly a tablespoon of honey. Come on. Honey's getting a little old getting a little thick. So that's 25 grams of honey. And we're going to go ahead and add, what's one serving here? 19, 20 grams of Nutella. Nutella has been added. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is essentially going to be my breakfast. Macros will be posted from my fitness pal in a few seconds. At least I just want to show you here what I have. I've got a multivitamin, fish oil, three, six, and nine and digestive enzymes. Now, these don't really have any calories in them, but they do support natural overall good health, so I would suggest taking them. And of course, I got my quality H2 on deck. Bobby Boucher from The Water Boy would be pleased with me. And let's get eating. All right, guys, so the cameraman's finally here. Luke, give him a good old hello. How do you do? And uh, what we're going to make here is some chicken quesadillas. It's a pretty straightforward snack. It's lunch for some people, but for me, it's more or less a snack based on the size of these shells. Like, look at how small these are. They're like, they're not even the size of my hand. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, to get those fats in, got some plant sterols type of butter here. Low in cholesterol, high in uh, omega sixes and threes. Not too bad at all at all. Now I'm gonna add a full serving and a half. So that's 15 grams. For those of you that were wondering, that over here on the side. And then now's where we get started on the fun stuff. So Luke, we got you to show them the macros real real quick like this. Sorry, I was going all Barry Kripke on you there. Big Bang Theory, ladies and gentlemen. You got that? We got it. All right, so we're gonna have two of those. We've got some Tex-Mex cheese here. It's the uh, lower fat one. For one serving, it's only six grams of fat. It's 30 grams. Probably put 30 grams, 35, 40 grams between both of them. See how that pans out. And then we're gonna add some chicken to it, obviously. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken, chicken. So that's 20 grams right there on one. And then we're going to go and add in some of the chicken here. Got some full on chicken breast with seasoned with a little bit of Diana's barbecue sauce. So although it's cooked in Diana's, it's kind of hard for you to ballpark that. So I pretty much just make it a quarter of a serving. Because I know for a fact that I'm not putting any more than that per chicken breast. Because I'd be disgusting and just be slobbered in it. So and then I just break it into little pieces and add it on top. Pretty straightforward. It's a real simple recipe. It's pretty macro friendly. Carly has one or usually about one of the large ones, uh, like the larger tortilla shells. But if she, we don't have the large one, she'll have a small one and maybe a second one, or we'll just load it up with a little bit more stuff on the inside for her. She's not feeling too hungry. So this is only 34 grams of chicken, and this one's probably going to max it out at roughly 65 to 70 grams. Per one, 
I'm not going to go ahead and just have you watch the exact same thing again while I make another one. So when I put them on the pan and they're good to go, we'll be talking to you again. So we're going to finish it off with some lactose-free, 14% fat-free sour cream. So essentially for one serving, which is 30 milliliters, it's 4.5 grams of fat. I'll let you see the macros on that actually. So hopefully I don't keep anything out. It's a little liquidy right now. I've got to give it a stir. But as you can tell, for 30 grams, which more than does two of these, it's pretty much nothing. 50 grams of calories total. And then, of course, we're going to add some salsa because what would be a quesadilla without salsa. I'm not going to count the macros for that though because, well, let's be honest, it's not that big of a deal. It's not going to make or break me. So that is 20 grams. This actually has corn in it, so I try to not use too much. It does upset my stomach if I go more than an entire serving, so rather than play it stupidly and get my fast from that, I try to keep it relatively safe. So that brings it down to 20 grams. And that, my friends, it's my first snack of the day. I'll be eating this and then going to the gym. All right. All right guys, so this is gonna be my probably last snack of the day. I'm getting it ready now because I've gotta go work my other job around five o'clock. It's pretty much three o'clock in the afternoon. So let's get started here. We've got Five ounces of banana. Got a frozen banana here that I just pulled out of the microwave. The other day I had a little bit of a miscounting action going on here. I had some more banana than it actually accounted for for carbs, so I had to freeze some of it. Anyways, frozen banana is just as good as normal banana. Pop this right in. You know what? We still have quite a bit of carbs left, so David's going to go a little overboard. He's going to go seven ounces of banana. That's pretty much one and a half servings. My hands a little clean up job here. Next, we got cashew cereal. So I find some days I can't actually hit my fiber goals based on my carb sources. So I just pop in some cashew cereal. So 52 grams of cashew in here is one serving. Just pop that right in there. Bang on. If you guys would like the recipe to this, which any more than what I'm doing here. Want me to post the macros or something at some point or another? Just let me know on my Instagram account, SmartFitness1992. Or you can just leave me a comment below. And we've got two, two servings of oats here. Another 80. So for those of you tracking how many oats I'm eating, that's pretty much 160 grams of oats in one day. Fair amount of oats. But hey, I don't mind them. Next, we've got a serving of cottage cheese, two and a half servings of peanut butter, and a serving of 97% fat-free frozen yogurt. So, even while I'm cutting, I won't be cutting out the frozen yogurt. So guys, you don't have to get completely out of your atmosphere with your food choices. You just have to eat smart. Carly eats 1,275 calories a day, and her post-workout meal includes frozen yogurt. Why have we included this? Because it's a quick digesting carb, and it's not that high in carbs actually. The amount for half a serving is 12 grams of carbs and seven grams of sugar. So you're really not doing much to your body in those kind of instances, but it is a pretty good post-workout meal actually. Now, Carly's post-workout meal is more than just ice cream, of course, but that's another topic for another day. And that is, a full serving. Look how much ice cream I've got there, guys, and that's only 20 grams of carbs. So, if for those of you that aren't tracking your food, get on it, because you're pretty much missing out on food. For those of you that heard that, that would be my cat whining, wanting to go outside. So that's 40 grams of peanut butter. Yeah, let's get that up to 50. And we're at 50 grams of peanut butter. Next, we've got some protein powder. One scoop, that's all I have each day guys. Some people go for roughly three, two to three scoops a day. If you're having that much protein powder, 
You've got to prioritize your time better and eat actual food. I can go entire days without actually having protein powder, but for the purpose of making this shake, as well as the time constraints that I have between going to work from now and working in the morning, I have to pop a scoop in just to hit those protein goals. And that is it guys. This shake is roughly a thousand calories, maybe a little bit more. I'll have the macros below just like everything else I've been doing. And that is it. Oh, I also forgot to tell you, we added a cup of milk. That's another 10 grams of carbs, give or take, and another 10 grams of protein. Because it's lactose-free skim milk, there's no fat in it whatsoever. And that's it. Now we're going to make my dinner. I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to make, so I decided to make some uh, risotto for the first time in my life. My mom makes it quite a bit. So I figured how hard can it be? It's pretty much just water, rice, and then add some sort of cheese if you want to make a cheese-based risotto or you can make it a meat-based. But I decided to go with cheese. I've got some Kraft Singles. Pretty much each one is three grams of fat, five grams of protein, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to add two of them in here. I probably won't eat this entire thing, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's get at it. So first we're going to measure the rice. For 45 grams, it is 36 grams of carbs. So let's get... Oh, that came up pretty fast. All right, let's get at this. So we're going to go 120, so it's three servings. Come on. All right, 120. And next, all we got to do is add some water, and we're pretty much cooking with gas, and we'll get started on this. I may end up adding some, uh, some extra substances to it to get my fats up, but we'll see. We'll see. Yep. All right, guys. So all I've done so far to this risotto is essentially added half a chicken cube of the uh, chicken bouillon, I believe it's called, just to give it some little flavor to it, a little bit of flavor kick. So we got the rice stirring right here. And it's time I'm going to give it some extra flavor. So I added half a shallot. I cut it up straight from scratch myself, right from our uh, friendly neighborhood grocery store because, well, it's still cold in Canada and we can't grow our own yet. And that is pretty much it so far. The cheese, I was wrong. It actually amounts to 8 grams of fat, not 4 or 5, whatever I said before. But either way, I need to bring my fats down for the day, so this more or less makes up for it. So everything's a go. Everything's on point. The result is looking good. I'll see you in a few minutes. Now, let's just keep in mind, this is my first time making this. Maybe, just maybe if it's good, Lydia's Italy will sign me, and who knows, I'll be a bodybuilder that cooks Italian food. All right, see you in a few minutes. And ironically enough, if I don't eat close to, if not over my 3,725 calorie range, I actually lose weight. I'm not doing any cardio really, I might So, to finish off this meal, for dinner we've got the risotto, we're going to add a little bit of chicken here to continue with our trend of chicken meat for the day. So we got 57 grams right there. Alright guys, so, last snack of the day, I've been saying it three times, according to Luke. So, anyways, we got two and a half servings of proactive butter on a little mini dinner roll. Two and a half servings is quite a bit, let me tell you. going to keep adding more. Two and a half servings, right there. Pretty much just, do I want it butter with my bun or a bun with butter at this point in time? Anyways, moving along, we got some jam here, no sugar added Smucker's jam. Another 20 grams. And then from, that's, oh, that's way over 20, okay. Well, that's not that bad. And now we're way under 20. Holy smokes, Dave. What are you, a noob? Luke, would you care to chime in on that one? The answer is yes. Yeah. And last but not least, some peanut butter. Luke, you want some? I know you're deathly allergic. Yes, okay. please. All right. Serving and a half of peanut butter, and that's it.
guys. So I hope you enjoyed my day of eating, because I enjoy eating. Now, I have something that I want to be a little bit truthful on. I have since decided, since my previous video, where I was talking about how I'm going to be cutting and getting lean, I've since decided that I'm going to continue bulking right up until October to push for that goal of 200 to 205. I'm at 191, 192 right now. With the summer coming, I figure I'm going to lose weight while I'm trying to bulk with the inconsistencies between running life and simply working and not being able to hit meals. And I would assume that my calories are going to go down, so I will slowly dwindle out. So to me, it makes sense to push a little bit harder to hit the 205 range. Plus, I want to be able to hit two plates on front squats. I'm 10 pounds away. I'm doing roughly three or four, three or four reps with 80 each side but I want to hit that 92 plate rep range. And I want to hit close to four plates on my deadlift. My bench press, I, like you guys have seen, I do mostly dumbbells. So my goal for that is to hit 100 for at least two, if not three. So I figure if I keep bulking, I keep progressing at the rate that I am now, my body's gotten used to this style of eating. My insulin levels spike when they need to. My glycemic index isn't overly high even though I do consume a fair amount of sugar just because of my high caloric intake. But regardless, I hope this video has been informative. I hope I haven't kept you here too long. Anyways, stay strong, ladies and gentlemen.